hello greetings to you and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to walk you through how to verify kyc in icx 101 just in case you are new to my youtube channel what we do here is we give you updates on high paying websites we give you updates on high paying apps and then we equally give you updates on certain difficulties you may have online okay so please if you are new to this youtube channel consider hitting the subscription button and turn on notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each time you upload such uh, videos and also just in case this, this content is helpful to you um, hit the like button and just to also tell you that the comment is always open if you have any other difficulties you can let us know in the comment section and then we are going to make a um, full video on that and then uh, we could equally get get directly to you and and sort out the issues you have so in order not to waste your time we will just go straight to verify KYC in uh, ICX 101 uh, just in case you don't know what ICX is ICX is actually an online investment and um, <coughs> they successfully created a coin and the coin is is generating a whole lot of money online so um, verifying KYC is one of the, the requirements for you to be able to take out money through that coin so now we are going to move straight to verifying KYC now the first thing you have to know is that you need icx 101 account you need to log into your icx 101 account so once you have logged in and then you can find what you see on my screen now you just you just um hover over these um these three lines at the top left corner of your screen so when you click those three lines just in case you are using um you're using it uh, probably you are using a desktop okay it is within the dashboard but if you are using a phone you just click on those three lines and then you find this menu here so once you can see this menu, what you need to do is you have to scroll you have to scroll all the way down to where you find profile. So when 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 you find profile, you click on it. So when you click on profile, they are going to um. They, of course, you can see your personal information. You can change your password. You can do many other things. But what we want to do is we want to verify KYC. So you just have to click on KYC. now now this is the first um the first thing to be asking you is um is i uh, your id okay so this one is your identification uh document for your country okay so for my case we have id here so I, i'll upload my id then the second thing they're going to ask you is proof of residence proof of residence could be um received from utility bills it could be received from whatever um, transaction you have done which shows where you live probably from electric bills or cable bill or water bill probably taxpayers card okay that one is possible so so once you are here the first thing you have to do you have to click to submit your id so just go over to the file where the id was saved then I'll scroll all the way down to gallery then go to gallery then just select the id then the second thing you have to do you have to choose um you have to upload proof of residence so when you choose proof of residence okay so i'll just upload proof of residence which is a pdf document i'll just upload taxpayers card Uh, no taxpayers card so once you have selected the above documents you just have to click on submit click on submit okay now i i actually went through that process in order to receive this error message uh this is because i i i knew that this error is going to show and that is the reason why i'm making this video now let's see the let's see the reason why we had this error let's scroll all the way back okay now if you look at these files the first file is jpeg then the second one is pdf now this is one of the reasons why we receive the error message because um currently this website takes uh pdf okay it takes a uh, pdf from from what i found online this website takes only pdf of course you could upload you could upload um jpeg uh maybe jpeg 
uh, all the all the contents JPEG. But what I've tried is I've used PDF and it worked. So I would just recommend you you convert all your files to PDF. So what you have to do is just to snap your ID card, then you upload it in a Word document, and then you save it as if uh, say as you save it in the in PDF format. So just in, just in case you have difficulties to do that, you can get to me through WhatsApp. My number will be found in the description of this video. So if you find difficulties in converting your documents to a PDF to PDF format, you can get to me. So in order not to receive this error message anymore, we will have to change this file type. So the first thing I have to do is to upload um to upload um proof uh ID okay in in PDF. So I'll just go all the I'll just um click on choose file. So you click on choose file. Click on choose file, okay. And then you go to my files. Then you scroll all the way down to where the document was saved. Now this document I received this document through WhatsApp, so I will just have to go over to my WhatsApp uh, WhatsApp. Okay, where is it? Now go over to media because it was saved in media. This is WhatsApp documents. Okay, so this is my ID in the form of PDF in PDF format. So I will just need to click on this ID. You see the ID is in PDF. Now this taxpayer's card is already in PDF. I do not have to I will not have to use to select the taxpayer's card again, but for the sake of um this video and explanations, I'll need to select it again. So I'll go all the way to my files, then also click taxpayer's card, simple. Then once you have confirmed that all these documents are in PDF, okay, then you click on submit okay success it has been sent to admin okay so you now receive the error um the error message again this kyc document has been sent to admins for uh, just in case you don't know what kyc means kyc means know your customers okay so in order for the company to know your cost their customers you need to submit proof of identity so in um check out some pop up uh, notification of other videos that will uh, show immediately after this one just in case uh this video uh does not solve uh your issues you can check out pop up videos immediately after this one i'm sure those videos are going to solve all the problems you are facing uh probably with ICS 101 or online so i look forward to see you there and just to also tell you that I'll also make another video on how to initiate withdraw, uh, to withdraw your Isomex profit, uh, from ICS 101. So check out, check this channel continuously. You are going to see some of those contents, and then it's going to be helpful to you. So I look forward to see you there. Bye bye.